Almost every piece of Adobe software lets you adjust and reset the keyboard commands to whatever you like. Generally, I would recommend leaving them as defaults, except in the case of Adobe Premiere. The best Premiere users rarely need to use their mouse and can edit extremely quickly using only the keyboard. Now, with a little bit of practice, you can get really fast and impress all of your friends and even the ladies. Well, probably not, but let's get started customizing our keyboard shortcuts by going up to Edit and then down to Keyboard Shortcuts. Now here you can see that you have control over almost every conceivable command in Premiere, but we will only be changing a few. Now in general, you will want to keep all of your keyboard shortcuts near your left hand on the keyboard so that you are still free to use the mouse with your right. I found the most important shortcuts to be those for navigating, cutting, and deleting. Now first go up to the search bar and search for Go to Previous. Then look for the keyboard shortcut called Go to the Previous Edit Point. Now change the value to A. To change this shortcut, make sure and click on the value and then go and click the edit button and then type in your new key command. And when you're done, don't forget to press OK. But we aren't done yet, so go ahead and go up to the search bar again and search for next edit point and then go ahead and set that one to S. Then search for ripple delete and then set that one to D. After that, go up to the search bar and search for add edit. Now set this one to X. Now these are the key commands that I use the most, but you can go up to the search bar and search for step back, and then set step back 5 frames to Q, and step backward to E. Then search for step forward, and set step forward 5 frames to W, and step forward to R. Now these keys will help you jump around by a single frame or 5 frames each time you press them. So now this has merely scratched the surface of the shortcuts in Premiere, but I highly recommend seeing what works best for you. So with our clip on the timeline, I can now scrub through and make cuts very quickly by hitting the X key. I can then jump between these quickly by hitting the A or S keys. After that, I can select a clip with my mouse and then hit D to quickly ripple delete it from my timeline. And then lastly, I can make precision moves around the timeline with the keys Q, W, E, and R. So have fun setting up your own shortcuts in Premiere for blazing fast editing. So as always, if you enjoyed this Premiere tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.